Yes, my hair is extremely unruly. This is my hair in its non-flat ironed natural habitat. What's up guys? It's me, Ami Yoshiko, and as you can see, I'm at my grandparents' house in my lovely, lovely cosplay room and doge. Baby! Come here! Baby, come here! It's This is Phoebe. She is my aunt's dog. She is a Scottish English Bulldog. Aren't you adorable? She's lazy. And I was trying to film and she was like, let me come on to bed. I'm like, okay. So she'll be right here while I do this. And I asked on my Insta, if you don't follow my Insta, come over here and follow it because I'm very active on Instagram just because it's easier. But I went on there and I asked you guys, what? video do you guys want to see from me like I was trying to get ideas out there I'm like do you guys want like my 2d anime husbandos or my first anime husbandos from my tiny tiny early weeb days that's where we're going here is my first top 10 freaking weeb first getting into anime first freaking wearing my freaking sailor fuku to middle school getting made fun of for being a weeb husbandos I hope you all enjoy. And also, I wrote them in this book because I was on set the other day and I don't know. I can't, I don't know if any, I don't know how YouTubers make it on the spot because I can. So I need to like write little notes. So one of my first anime husbandos, ooh, God, I miss this guy, oh my God. When I was writing my notes, I was like, oh, how did I forget about him? Cause I loved this man. He was beautiful, he was gorgeous, he was everything I wanted in a man. Ikdo from Shugo Chara. I'm pretty sure almost every weeb like me has seen Shugo Chara. You know, the girl with the pink hair and the freaking cool school uniform with fucking skirts on her knees, I don't know. And she freaking has her little, little Charas, her little Kiaz, those little adorable little freaking minks. And I loved Mr. Cat Daddy. You know, furries aren't my cup of joe, mostly because when I was little, I was terrified of Chuck E. Cheese. And any mascot that roamed the planet, I would literally scream and cry and hide under the table for my freaking birthday party because Chuck E. Cheese freaking terrified me. For some reason, I really, really like anime dudes with cat ears. I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking weird. I know. So freaking sexy. Like, who is his voice? Like, his voice. Like, the raspiness and how he's, like, he's, li he's literally like a freaking alley cat. How he'll just show up to Amu's house in the middle of the night with a bag of freaking candy. I'll take your bag of candy. So his voice actor is Yuichi Nakamura. And he sounds familiar, so I'm gonna see who else he plays. Ooh, he's a yaoi voice actor. That's my favorite part. When you see, when you hear a voice actor in an anime you like and you hear they done a shit ton of yaoi. I don't know, for some reason, that excites me. That makes me happy. And also this fucker plays the violin! If you fucking play an instrument, you have won the keyblade to my fucking heart. Like, ugh! Like, ugh, I don't know though, because Amu was like in fifth grade. Like, I don't know, and there's no logic in anime. I could never understand how this freaking high school kid was all up in my fifth grade jeans. Like, I don't, I don't know. But Ikta definitely was one of my first anime crushes. Mostly because he's fucking sexy, his voice is sexy, he has sexy cat ears, and he's a sexy creature of the night that sexingly plays the violin. I'm down. Number two is Koga Inuyasha. But I don't know. I like to see the animal in people. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But when Koga appeared in Inuyasha, when he freaking kidnapped Kagome and was like, you gonna be my bride, I was like, freaking Hunger Games status. I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute. Pick me. Let me be Kagome. I know at first he kind of did seem like a douche. I thought it was really hilarious the quarrels he would have with Inuyasha. You know, like it's about Kagome, and they're like, "No, she's mine!" And Inuyasha's like, "I don't even want her bad, but you can't have her bad because Inuyasha secretly in love with her." Fucking get away, Kikyo. And then it broke my heart. Koga had that other girl. What's her freaking name? Naomi. I don't know. Kim. 
sweep, Pee-Pee. Go sweep. Nah, she's sleeping. How are you sleeping with my screaming? But yeah, Koga, I really like that, you know, he was like a badass and just freaking didn't give a shit. And if he wanted something, he would freaking get it. And like, yeah, I know at first, you know, he was really rough with Kagome, but after, you know, she stood up for herself and he was like, ooh, I'm gonna make you my woman. I'm like, ah! Later, you know, you see that he really cares about Kagome and he really wants to make her his mate. Another one is Tokyo Mew Mew and my freaking anime crushes. I had two, but the one I had the fucking hots for so much was Dren or Kishin. But yeah, I thought Dren, like see, I don't know. As you go, as you all see, I have like a type. Like I like the bad ones. I like the one who like to tease the shit out of you that are kind of like, ooh, I'm gonna drag you. I'm gonna drag you along for my fucking type. But I don't know, in real life I'm like, in anime, they they make it come off as very playful and very cute and very flirty. So for some reason, I really like Dren mostly because I don't know. I thought he was sexy and that fucking V line. <clears throat> I mean, the elf ears were kind of too big for my liking. But when I was a little kid in like freaking middle school, first freshman, high school, whatever it was, I thought Dren was very sexy. I'm like, ooh, I like Mr. Alien. See, I like the fucking weirdos. They're not even all human. I don't know. It, there's probably something wrong with me. Am I going to do anything about it? Probably not. <laughs> and another anime crush that I had in this show, I'm pretty sure a lot of you all can already freaking guess, freaking Elliot! Even though he seemed like a freaking little fucking rich boy douchebag or something. I don't know if he was a rich boy, I don't even remember. But I thought he was really cute. And I really liked his English voice actor. But like all the other types I have, Elliot was kind of, like, I don't know, he seemed kind of mean, a little, like a little bit, like, but I don't know, for some reason I thought his bad boy ways was so <laughs> cute. I don't know, I was just like, ooh, I, I know you're not into me, but I'm gonna chase you. I totally forgot what I was saying, because... Like, I don't know, in real life, if you're a douche, you're a douche, and I don't want anything to do with you. Like, no talking, get away from me. But yeah, I liked the douchey bad boys, even though Elliot wasn't that much of a douche. Baby Ichigo, to some degree. I, I thought he was very fine, and his fucking shoulder straps. And I don't remember episode four or three of Mimi Power when they did that. When they did that dance, I liked how he was being really sweet to Zoe, being like, everything's perfect, and I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> Another favorite of mine, and this was like literally like a underrated anime that I really liked that a lot of people don't know existed, and that is DN Angel, and I like a lot of them. I really liked Daisuke, he was very, really cute. His English voice was like, I don't know, his English voice reminded me of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. And I also like, I don't even know his name, the freaking one who was the light one, except he was the student one. But my favorite, 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 yes I know, I'm literally so basic, I know, Phantom Dark, Vic Mignogna, yes. I really liked Phantom Dark, he was, even though he is Daisuke, he, spoiler, he's very sweep you off your feet, but yeah, he was the creature of the night and he was very secretive, and I don't know, he's just fucking hot, okay? Purple hair and black wings. Are you a god or am I just Satan? That's horrible. Next is Hatsuharu Soma from Fruits Basket. As any other early weeb, Fruits Basket was definitely a really, really good one for like, you know, when I was growing up. Like usually I would just put on shows for just shits and kicks and never finish it. But Fruits Basket, like I really loved the show. Like it was amazing. The plot was beautiful. The characters were all very complex and had a lot of dynamics. And I don't know, it's just a really interesting, it was just a very interesting, very unique, intricate story and I really liked it. But I related to Hatsuhara Soma a lot because like, you know, when I do acting jobs or when I'm fucking in the real world, I'm like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. But then you all like, ugh. One of the people on my set was literally like, I saw your YouTube channel and you're a totally different person than how you are. 
to face. And I'm just like, ah! Cause you all know, you all see me, like you, like you know, on the freaking real world, I'm all polite for social nicety, and I'm like, oh, hi, nice to meet you, hi. But then on here, I'm like, <laughs> like when I was in middle school and high school, when we had our anime club, I, they would always call me Hataharu, or they would always be like, yeah, that's your husband, cause I was just so like that. Because I would be all sweet and go like, hey, nice to meet you. Or if you've seen my old videos, <laughs> I was like that in high school. Like, I'm pretty sure it was like a defense mechanism. I still don't know. Well, just my own personal battles. Like I said, I have anxiety. So I don't know, it all kind of stays. But then as y'all, but then I switch and then I freaking just go cray. And I'm like this to where I'm cussing like a freaking maniac. White and black hair, like no, screw your freaking normal shit. I like the black and white hair. It did it for me. I thought it was sexy. And also, he's a freaking punk. Like, look at him. Look at, look at him. He's beautiful. And I really like that, you know, he was really sweet. Like, when he's white hair, he's like, oh, nah, nah, nah. Oh, I'm so sweet. Like, he was really nice. Like, I liked his little low-key bromance with Yuki. I'm like, oh. You know, I mean, three is a crowd, but I won't mind watching YouTube. <laughs> but then when he turns black, I'm like, ooh, ooh, bad bitch alert. You in first place. When he turns into black Haru, I'm just like, yes. This is what I subscribed for. But yeah, I just like that, you know, when he's normal, he's a very sincere, like, he cares for Yuki, he cares about people, and when he turns into Black Haru, he's just a fucking badass, and I'm into it, yeah! I really liked Case Clothes, and my favorite character was Jimmy Kudo, I mean, Conan, you're adorable. Conan is a smart boy. But I really, like, I loved the whole thing with Rachel. Rachel liked him. Jimmy liked her. And then he turns into a freaking 10-year-old Conan. I don't remember what the movie was called on the top of my head, but it's the movie, it's the Case Closed movie where Rach, where they're at, like, a hotel or something, and Rachel ends up losing her memory. One of the guys who's voiced by Crispin Freeman was the guy that did it. He had an umbrella, and he, like, shot and killed somebody. And Rachel was there, and then she was shooken up and lost her memory, so she couldn't testify and be like, it was him! Near the end of the movie, Rachel still has no memory of what happened. And they're just literally trying to run away from the dude who killed the person, because he's trying to kill Rachel, because she knows he did it, even though she has no memory, but they're trying to kill her. And she's like, why are you saving? Why are you Why are you trying so hard to protect me? You don't even, I don't even know you. And then he's like, hm, because grabs her arm and then yeah so if you like you see him running and you see freaking Jimmy Kudo in the background and they like literally say it in like unison because I love you more than anyone else and I'm like ah <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> it's so sweet. And it's so freaking cute. So Jimmy Kudo, yes, 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 yes. Honorable mention, because of course as a freaking weeb, I watched Naruto. And the guys I liked were, I really liked Kiba. Just because one, like he was, you know, funny. He was like, not jockey, but he was kind of like your playful boy jockey little bit kind of thing. And he had a freaking dog. Who hates someone with a dog? No one ever. And I really liked Shikamaru just because I really liked his lazy, like, I don't give a fuck personality and attitude. But when it's time to give a shit, and when it's time to kick ass with his fucking shadow technique, bitch, I'm shook. Take me, Shikamaru. I love Shikamaru. And of course, half of the people on the Akatsuki, because I'm a thirsty bitch and I like badass. And those were my first anime husbandos from my very early, early freaking weeaboo fetus stage of my life. If we share any early husbandos, leave it down in the comments. 
I would love to see if I wasn't the only one. And before we end this video, I got some showstoppers, of course, to announce. First showstopper is Cole High. Thank you so much, love. I saw you going ham on all my pics, and it means so much. Your profile pic is adorable. You are adorable. You are my love and sunshine. Thank you so much, boo. Next showstopper is Maria Kitty 92 Thank you, beautiful. Your freaking picture is also adorable. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you. And last showstopper is Ren Likes to Cosplay. Thank you so much. Your cosplays are adorable. You are beautiful. Thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate it very much, boo. Make sure to check out and make sure to follow all of my showstoppers if you want to be next week's showstopper. Just make sure to show love and support on all my platforms. Doesn't have to be Instagram, can be Facebook or anything like that. Just show me love and I will show you love back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave comments and suggestions for other videos I should do because I'm not creative at all. Make sure to like and make sure to subscribe and make sure to click that little bell for notifications because a lot of you guys say you're subscribed but you don't get any notifications and that's because now you have to press that little bell. So by the description box, so after you click subscribe, make sure to hit that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you all for joining my weeb family. I love you guys very much and I will see you next time. Bye!